portraits of black icons set against bright African prints, slogans of power and impact, and cans not of Campbell's, but of Fela Kuti soup. Welcome to the world of Franco-Cameroonian pop artist Fred Abami. His work has been shown in London, Paris, and most recently, Lagos. In April, he has a new show coming up in Paris, as well as a first graphic novel. We are excited to have him as our guest today. Fred Abami, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And now, your work clearly follows in the pop art tradition. We recognize references to Andy Warhol, among others. Can you just start by telling us a bit about your origins and inspirations as an artist? Uh, like you said earlier, I'm... Um from Cameroon origin, I was born and raised in France, and I lived a long time in uh, England. And um, pop art came into my life uh, on an early young age, as I could remember, with people like um, Andy Warhol, Basquiat, Liechtenstein, and uh, the Benetton photographer, uh, Oliver Toscani. And your work features numerous political and pop culture icons. Uh, who are some of your biggest muses? I would say... Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Have you painted Jesus? I did, I did. I did a visual on Jesus, um, a kind of controversial one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, your work. Um, one of the one of the people that you've also painted is Thomas Sankara, the former president of Burkina Faso, who's been nicknamed Africa's Che Guevara. Uh, let's take a look at you in action painting his portrait. Now we see in that video, it looks like you've maybe used spray paint. You're also coloring with a felt tip marker. Can you tell us what you're doing and if that's your usual process? Uh, it's not my usual process. My usual process is digital. That's my main, that's my main uh, canvas. Um, but um, I also like to, to, to use cam real canvas and paint. Uh, on that one, I used to, I used to, I used posters, spray paint, uh, pencils because I wanted to, um, to show that I could do that as well. And you have a show coming up in April at the Little Africa Paris Village. You're working on a series for it called You Can Impact. What can you tell us about those paintings? I always wanted to, um, to make my art uh, like a 3D kind of. I wanted people to, to be able to touch it, not only to put them on, to put them on the wall, but to touch it and to, 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 have, to have them in hands. And then with Little Africa, with um, did a collaboration where um, uh, we we would go further than what I, I, use, I usually do. The uh, "You Can Impact" is as well um, a slogan to speak about the society we're living in, and furthermore, uh, for the younger generation, I wanted I wanted to leave um, a message to the younger generation that whatever they say to you, whatever you think, you can impact on this world. If I, I, I show my story to those young, to, the, to this young generation, they might be able to take it and push it even further. So the you can impact is like, I know it's difficult, it seems impossible, but yes, you can change the world. I want to talk about one of your pieces. It shows the American rapper Kanye West uh, dressed like Mobutu Sese Seko, the former strongman of what's now Democratic Republic of Congo. Why did you want to associate those two men? Uh, basically, it was uh, it was at the time Kanye West was at the top, and he, he came from nowhere. He was not known from the 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 the, the 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 people, but in the music industry, he was one of the most genius uh, beat maker. Uh, he came he came to light when um, Jay Z, uh, uh, Jay Z, and um, Damon Dash, which is uh, they, they they created a. Uh, Rockefeller, and they say, "Oh, this this kid is it's good." So he wanted to rap. We we, we should uh, we should broadcast him. And um, I realized his his rise was was wonderful and powerful. And he came at the top of the game. At the same time, I asked myself, "When you come at the top of the game like that, what what's happening in your head?" And uh, he became egocentric. He became full on. And uh, 
it, it divided the society. People liked him and people hated him. And I liked that part of a of of of, of a Nikon being loved and being hated at the same time. And I wanted to I wanted to find somebody in Africa that had the same um not impact but the the, the same uh view uh, from people. I hate him, I love him. And I know you know Kanye West is really stylish. So I thought, okay, maybe Mobutu it's the closest person in Africa to link to link to that kind of philosophy he had. The slogan, the Yes We Can Ye, I took it from um, the Yes We Can from Obama. So you, you had these two, these two um, messages that everything is impossible, but you can do it. It's a, it's a, it's lots of messages inside that, inside that. Yeah, I like that association, stylish <laughs> and also divisive. Uh, you also make a point of representing black female figures and challenging colonial stereotypes. For example, your portrait of a woman uh, with the words "not your exoticism." Do you consider yourself a feminist artist? I have to be. I was raised by um, lioness. <laughs> like I like to say, I was raised by women. So um, I don't want to. I don't want to say that I know women, but. Um, my mom raised me, and then she raised me well. She raised me with respect, and uh, uh, she she raised me to respect women. So for me, uh, the, the 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 women figure uh, is uh, a woman of power, and um, we 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 sometimes forget about that. Giving birth is a miracle, and only a woman can give birth. So for me, it was giving back. It was um, showing love. Uh, for that piece, especially the, um, not your exotism, it was my way of taking back the storytelling about how uh, we, black women are treated, are treated uh, all over the world, and uh, give them that power, that uh, uh, Steinie Nash, like you said, and uh, that, 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 that strength that I feel every time I, I, I cross the path of, of, of women. They, they, they're strong and they have to they have to be respected for that. Absolutely. Um, you've also said before that comic books have been one of your inspirations. Now, you were on France 24 about five years ago, and you said <laughs> you did not plan to write one yourself, but it turns out that you do have a graphic novel now that's coming out uh, at the end of April. I know you're not allowed to tell us very much, but what can you tell us about the story and what it's about? Uh, the title, it's uh, Noble de Coeur. Uh, uh, the, the book edition, the book edition is um, uh, Calman Levy. It's coming out on the 28th of April. And the, the, stories, the story is based on uh, a true story, Yagin and Fode. Uh, and I wrote it with um, my best friend, uh, Captain Alexandre, Marc Alexandre Bambe. It was a story that, that was with us since the beginning of our careers. And um, it's true. When I came back, uh, when I came here four years ago, it wasn't on the, it wasn't on the plan. But today, it was like um, I had to do it. Um, I think what, what my career gives me is the opportunity to, um, to give back. Uh, I told you about the, the, the women, I told you about the young generation, and now it's about my culture. I need to give back, and maybe uh, even if I was scared, that probably was the best way to do it. <laughs> I know that immigration is one of the themes of that graphic novel. France's presidential campaign has mm. also seen immigration coming up quite a lot as a theme. I'm, I'm worried if you're wor wondering if you're worried about some of the discourse that we've been hearing in France lately. Uh, it's worrying because um, the, 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 the basis of uh, love and society, it's being together with all our differences and with everything that goes around, it's a bit hurtful to 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 to, to see that uh, the main the main essence which is going is just going out of the window. Uh, but I'm hopeful. I've always been hopeful. I'm uh, the kind of person that take things um, that see things in front of me. I'll be like, okay, that's quite difficult, but we're gonna do it. That's the that's we 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 can only do it. We got no choice. So. Um, it's hurtful, but we're gonna we're gonna prevail. <laughs> I like that message of hope, uh, Fred Abami. Thank you. Um, and finally, we asked you to flag up a piece of art uh, that you've been enjoying recently, and you mentioned the Nigerian singer Raya Shan. Can you tell us what it is that you like about her music? Um, first, I like music. When I create, uh, there's always music around me. Uh, you know, Raya, she's something else. 
Um, it was difficult. When you asked me that question, it was difficult because there's a lot of stuff that I'm listening at the moment. Um, but she, there's something about her. I think she's the next best thing in Algeria. Okay. You heard it here first, everyone. We can end with a clip of Raya Sean's single, Satisfy My Soul. Before we go, I want to thank our guest, Fred Abami. Thank you so much. You. Um, keep an eye out for his graphic novel, hopefully eventually translated into English. It'll be coming out in French first. And if you're in Paris in April, do stop by his show at the Little Africa Paris Village. For more arts and culture news, you can always head to our website or check us out on social media. And there is more news coming up on France 24 right after this. Your needs are changing, and so is France24.com. With articles, reports, the latest international news, all our programs available on replay, together with live broadcasting 24-7. Intuitive, fast, and available in four languages. France24.com. Liberté, égalité, actualité.